Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host there. It is Team Rarai. How's everyone doing out there? I'm at Friday's edition. I'm doing spectacular. Anyway, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and of course, my own Facebook page. It's called The Rarai Show. The link will automatically take you to the page. So hopefully someone out there on YouTube wants to be part of my show as a guest. So please think about it. Okay, now I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't like that, maybe you want to like a villain. Here are my thoughts, my opinions, and this subject, and of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. This one will just be an article. Let's get into this. It is now official that WWE will have fans be attending these arenas once again about flipping time. No more Thunderdome. Thank flipping God. We hopefully... That could always change. Okay. Now, probably you know already, because they broke the news earlier this morning. Okay. Sunday, July 18th, Money in the Bank will be in um, Fort Worth, somewhere in Dallas. Monday, July 19th, Raw. America Airline Art Center in Dallas. So Sunday and Monday will be all in Dallas. They don't want to travel a lot. Tickets for the live events in Houston, Fort Worth, and Dallas go on sale this Wednesday, May 26th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. I know I probably said it wrong. Added tour stops on sale dates will announce in the upcoming weeks. So things are finally opening up. I mean, they have been opening up for a while. But it's just a long, long process. Not Well, not for a while, but not that long ago, okay? So if you guys and girls are be dying to go raw, dying to go to SmackDown or any periods besides Mania, Here's your flipping chance. So, maybe eventually they'll come out this way. Chicago and Indiana again. Or, sorry, Indianapolis, Detroit, um, Charlotte. You know, it's just a long process. So, have patience, you know. I don't know how much of these tickets are going to be. You know, the live events or when you go to Raw or SmackDown. Or is it going to be the same price before this whole shutdown happens? I don't know. So, and also I discuss in one of my videos that reporting that Raw stage and SmackDown stage are going to have a brand new stage on both brands when they go back to live. And I said to myself, why? What's wrong with the stage before this whole shutdown? I don't understand. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they just want a brand new, fresh start with the fans and all this stuff. I'm assuming they're going to have an intro. Now, the thing I don't understand, sometimes they do intros and other things, they just go right to the show. I don't know why they don't do it all the flipping time. Hopefully they bring back Pyro too. I know a couple years ago, they cut out the Pyro because they... They realized it was so expensive, you know. Back in the day when I was a kid, the pyro was very, very, was okay, but not to compare to the model of the WWE, you know. They go all out on these shows, you know. So what's your thoughts? Probably a lot of you are happy that no more Thunderdome, but it's not going to start until July 16th. I wish it was a little sooner. I wish it was next month. But well, whatever, that's why they're going to have Money Bank. It will be the first pay-per-view with fans be attending. Usually, um, I mean, not usually, but um, 
for Hell in a Cell. Usually Hell in a Cell is in October, but they want to have that in the summertime. So eventually Hell in a Cell will be back next year in the fall time. So that's awesome. So I'm looking forward to Money at Bank. We'll see the fans react and all that good stuff. So hopefully this year Money Bank will be better than last year's. Last year's is good, but why you pick Otis? That would part was so stupid. I mean, I had no issues with Otis, but he's not kind of guy. He's not no championship material, but I think McMahon just effed, effed up. So have a good one. Let me know your honest opinion on this article. If you guys are happy about this or not happy about this, eventually more days will be announced. Take care and I'll see you guys tonight for video number two.